Right ladies and gents, this is uh, the second project that I did for on behalf of Fernley Designs as part of their guest design team. And they sent me um, three projects to do and this was the second one that I completed after the birdhouse. And this is their tic-tac-toe game. Um, when it arrived, um, I was like, oh, not quite sure what to do with that, <laughs> if I'm honest. But if you think about it, because it's MDF and it's plain, there's countless possibilities. And what I actually did was I made mine a little bit pretty and a little bit shabby chic-ish. <laughs> um, because that's the kind of thing that I like to do. So what I did was I um, built the structure. There's quite a few pieces to this one. But again, it's very, very simple. If you just think about, you know, put it together first without gluing it so you know which bits go where. But it is quite simple. And then what I did was, if I just remove some of these, I actually decoupaged the whole thing with a very pretty rosebud napkin. So um, the birdhouse was painted, then covered in lace. This was decoupaged, so this is another different way of doing it. So I decoupaged all of with a napkin, and I did use the decoupage um, glossy finish glue that I happened to pick up very, very cheap um, from a craft shop that was shutting down. Otherwise, you can just use normal watered down PVA. Um, now, in hindsight, I would have painted the whole thing before I added the napkin because the napkin didn't show up very good put straight onto the MDF. But I will, obviously, sometimes you don't always think. So then what I did after that was I went over it with um, watered down white um, paint just to give it like a bit of a, a whitewash effect. And just so that it didn't, so the napkin didn't look completely see-through on the um, MDF wood. It just gave a better finish. Um, and if I did one again and I was decoupaging it, I would put a layer of paint first. But you live and learn. That's the fun of crafting. I then decided that I wanted it really sparkly and really girly. So I added lots and lots of bling. <laughs> uh, which you might think is a strange thing to put on a tic-tac-toe game. But in my opinion, why not? So I did, and I added lots and lots of um, diamante trim all the way around on, on every single slot. And then I also added diamante, these are just stick-ons, these, um, to, the, to the letters on each letter, just to add a little bit of bling. Um, I have lined the bottom, I'm not going to tip it up, uh, lift it up, I don't, I don't know if you'll be able to see. I, I did run the diamantes all the way around the bottom as well and then just added this dainty little lace. And underneath, if you can just see, I have added felt again and uh, tidied it up the edges with another layer of lace. And then just added big these big flat back pearls just as a you know, little stand, little feet um, because that's all, all I had really that I could use for feet at this moment. So that's that one. Um, and now I'm going to show you my final project. Um, I'll just I'll just pause and then I'll put it on the surface. Right, so this was my third and final project um, that I did that Fernley sent me. They sent me lots of other bits and bobs, so I'll be doing other things as well. But this was my the these three are the main um, DT projects that I did, and this is another of Fernley's uh, in the range of Fernley's caddies and I loved doing this one. Um, this is a storage caddy. It has got purpose made sections so there's a slot of wood there, a slot of wood there, same at the other side. So it's got six sections. Um, it is one of the smaller caddies in the range um, and it's as I say specifically for holding things. So mine has got my gluers in. So what I did was I built it all together, super easy again, lined it again with the Madame Perot paper because I have got another of Fern Lee's caddies and so I wanted it to match. Um, I then added um, walnut stain all the way around the edges to age it and to um, blend in the paper to the edge colouring of the wood. Because um, you know you're getting a lovely a lovely finish to the edges there of the of the wood, so it just blends it in. I then added again, similar to my other caddy that I did, the metal piece with the cabochon, and I've got one front and one back. 
and uh, then added these beautiful ornate corners um, which I'm going to show you and it, it's mirror imaged on the back of the caddy I'm not going to turn it round because um, I've only got one pair of bands so what I did with these was you can cut, leave them as they are, they're beautiful as they are, you can paint them I used um, walnut stain distressing here just to darken them slightly you can emboss them with um, you know use embossing ink and embossing powders possibilities are endless and what you use them for are endless as well um, you know if you if you have a good think you can use them for more than just corners but they are lovely and the intricate uh, design is really 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 pretty um, and then I just added uh, this key that I had gifted a long time ago and I've been hoarding it so I've kind of unhoarded it to hoard it on a project <laughs> and I just thought it added a pop of colour because it's a glue, I'm using it for my glues I haven't put loads of flowers on and loads of embellishments on this caddy as I have with a previous caddy that I did um, because it's you know got these big heavy bottles in and out I didn't want it um, dis you know spoiling or pulling any of the embellishments off so I, did, I have kept it to a minimum um, but again I um, wanted to put feet on this oh there's a glowstone there I did want to put metal feet on this but I don't have any <laughs> I have uh, got some on their way so I may well be adding some um, metal feet at some point to this caddy. Um, I really, really enjoy making these little caddies. They're awesome. They're very lightweight. And obviously, by definition, um, you know, a caddy is meant to be portable. And these are. So you can get a few, um, you know, and you can line them up on your shelf. And then decide what you need for your project that you're doing. And then pick that caddy up and take it with you. Or leave it on your desk. But yeah, they're awesome. So when you're tidying up at end of day, you can put them all together in your little collection. You could have one for glue, one for paint, um, one for your um, sprays. If you use like the dilution sprays or distressing sprays, things like that. Um, and you could have a few because they're very, very inexpensive. I mean, you go to the website and have a look at the prices because they're amazing. Um, you know, you can't you can't make that yourself for the money that they charge you, you really can't and you're getting a top notch product and you're getting a nice sturdy long lasting structure so go on over and have a look, check out the prices and, and go and get yourself some beautiful beautiful Fernley products you won't be disappointed, um, I certainly haven't and I absolutely love them and hopefully um, I will continue to do some more work for them I do appreciate your time in watching. I'll leave all the links below. Go on over and check them out. Bye for now.